Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, hi, my name is Bia and I love makeup so much. And I haven't brought you a new makeup video in a hot minute. It was about damn time. On today's video, I'm going to do this go-to makeup look that I do more often than I would like to admit because I tend to do the same thing over and over and over. I just change the shades and hope that it looks different but anyways i'm going to do this whole makeup look using only drugstore makeup like can you believe that i did a full beat that is going to last throughout the hours and listen i have combination skin so you know that this is resistant using just drugstore this is only using affordable makeup so if you want to see all the makeup techniques and the makeup products that i use just keep on watching i am going to start with complexion and guys let me tell you it wasn't easy to find all the right products because most formulas that people rave about i cannot find in europe for some reason but at this point i have every single step of the routine and i'm going to start with something that i have been using every single day ever since i bought it i think that i wore a different foundation once or twice ever since and guys you can definitely tell that it's very well loved it is a l'oreal true match nude plumping tinted serum and i have it in the shade 23 light i have a bit of a tan right now so this shade is actually not the best for me but since it is a tinted serum the coverage is not like insane so we can work with it the only complaint that you will ever find about this product is this like i don't get what this is for because it is not even that good other than that like the finish how lightweight it is everything about this is really good and i'm honestly so happy it is so satisfying to do my makeup with clean brushes i washed them all a few days ago and they are fresh and ready to go i'm just going to do one side of my face so that you guys can see even if i zoom in you cannot tell that the product is there it just evens out the skin to perfection it just feels and looks so light it is definitely not the type of product that will cover everything it is not supposed to it is the type of product that is going to make you look like yourself but a little bit better if you will i almost need a restock on this though at this point you guys can definitely tell the difference like on this side i have the product and on this side it's just my bare skin with skincare as you can see like you cannot see much of the product but my skin is very evened out and it just looks like me but better you know it just kind of like conceals any smaller imperfections and gives your skin a lot more of an even color i just feel like this is the type of stuff that i love for an everyday basis because it is quick to apply it is super natural and yeah and by the way this is a new ray brush this is the 144 tapered foundation brush if there is one trick that completely changed my makeup routine was to first go in with the bronzer and the blush and only then with the concealer so now for creamy bronzer this one i have been sleeping on this this is the revolution ultra cream bronzer i have it in the shade medium and let me tell you just like the huda beauty tantor these shades go dark when i was looking for other people using this product to see which shade i should use this shade looked like it was going to go lighter on the skin but honestly not at all it goes dark but i'm 10 right now so if you are any more fair than me just go in with a lighter shade because this can be a little bit too much the thing that i like about this formula and that will still give you room to work with is how easy it is to blend and how easy it is to control the pigmentation i like to go in with my contour blender from japanese i have been using this brush for years at this point and i like to get rid of the excess in the back of my hand as you can see guys the shade is pretty dark so if you are super fair this can look really muddy on you and i then start applying it i will say that this is one of the easiest formulas to work with especially with it being like a drugstore creamy bronzer i feel like those can go really patchy really quickly but this, this blends like butter, it smells incredible, not the same smell as the Nars Laguna Bronzing Cream, but it smells incredible as well, without being too overpowering. It is very easy to build it, and yeah guys. Now moving on to Creamy Blush, this is the most underrated drugstore product. I literally see nobody talking about it, and it is the LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. But listen, let me tell you something, if you think that the Rare Beauty blushes are pigmented, this is a whole new level however this one doesn't come with the applicator so you won't feel tempted to apply it directly on the skin and i'm going to show you the best and like the easiest way to get this product right and trust me when i say that this will last you a lifetime because you will need the smallest amount possible like a drop of this is
is too much so what i like to do is i apply a little bit in the back of my hand and since this is quite a thick product i already spread it in the back of my hand to make sure that once i try to apply it on the face it goes very evenly this is the shade grace by the way i have another one that is more like on the red side and i am taking this foundation brush from japanese i love this foundation brush to apply all of my cream and liquid blushes and i pick a little bit and i start applying it on the cheeks this one looks a little bit too light for me right now because i am pretty thin so i'm going to use a little bit more but if you are fair like especially during winter i don't need a lot of this but the red one though like that one is intense and as you guys can see it goes on so evenly it is not patchy at all i just find it to be such a great formula to work with especially if you are a beginner i really want to try more shades because this formula is chef's kiss i actually got this in pr i wasn't expecting much of it because i feel like we are all a little bit tired of new cream and liquid blushes launches but once i tried it i was shocked oh and they are not kidding when they say that this goes on as a soft matte blush even though it is a creamy formula as you can see it's not dewy at all now for concealer this is probably the most recommended drugstore concealer it is the nyx pair with me and when i tell you that this is insane like the coverage is more on the medium side so if you have any sort of like deeper pigmentation please do color correct beforehand because it is not going to cover everything i mean when it comes to pigmentation no concealer is truly going to cover everything and it might even look ashy and stuff if you have super deep dark circles that really need color correction but yeah the finish is very natural it's not too dewy it's not matte at all it really falls on the natural category it is so crease resistant and it lasts beautifully throughout the hours it doesn't look heavy on the skin as you guys can see i have been using a lot of it and by the way i have it in shade vanilla since it comes in a pump i always apply it with a brush and this is my favorite to do it it is the japanese conceal and blend and i use the fluffier tip this shade is probably a little bit too light for me right now but we can work with it guys i'm not gonna lie i haven't felt like a makeup YouTube video in a hot minute and it feels kind of weird I don't know I guess that I am already lacking the practice the way that this melts into the skin chef's kiss now for liquid highlighter this is no surprise to any of you if you follow me on tiktok or even on instagram this liquid highlighter is probably the cheapest product that i have here and one of the most surprising formulas that i've tried from the drugstore it is the weibo chromo drops liquid illuminator and guys when i tell you that this performs better than high-end i am telling you that i prefer this to any of my high-end ones any day it is so reflective it does not go patchy it does not disrupt any of my makeup which is a very strong claim for liquid highlighters these days for some reason and yeah guys it is so beautiful and for some reason it smells like expensive perfume i don't know the logic or the science behind it but i'm here for it it's not overpowering but it definitely smells expensive i am actually almost running out of this because i use it so many times and it is definitely a product that i include on my professional makeup kit and that i will keep on repurchasing for life like the glow is insane when it comes to setting sprays it's actually kind of hard to decide which one i love the most first we have this one that i'm pretty much running out of this is the milani make it last and it is such a great setting spray guys this makes your makeup last like crazy ever since i started buying like drugstore and professional grade if you will setting sprays for my pro makeup kit i never went back to high-end ones that you can find at sephora i just feel like they are not worth the money next we have the nyx setting spray with a matte finish i also love the one with the dewy finish however if you have combination or oily skin i have combination skin myself i feel like this one really helps control the excessive oil on the t-zone next we have the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist this is the most recent one on my collection i used it like a couple times and when i tell you that this makes my makeup plus and it is so fine i was already impressed with how fine the milani one was i mean the next one is very fine as well but not as delicate but this one it is very delicate it is very fresh oh i love this stuff it is so hot outside guys like the setting spray is my salvation step if you will this product truly comes to the rescue next for setting powder another one that i'm almost running out of because when i tried it i was so impressed that i pretty much wore it every day ever since this is the elf hello glow setting powder it is so good guys i was really scared of trying this because so many people were saying that it had glitter in it i don't think so 
I feel like it is a great powder, it locks your makeup in place, but it's a type of powder that sets your makeup without mattifying you too much. So if you have combination or oily skin like me and you want a dewy look that actually lasts, this is going to be for you. I really want to try their regular powder, the HD setting powder, I think that's how it is called, because that one is really hyped as well. I feel like this one is very controversial, like people either hate it or love it. I'm really running out of this one. Luckily for me, I won't have to buy it because I am not going anywhere with this makeup it is like 10 p.m no 9 30 well we are not too far from that this setting spray is so fine that it dries really quickly however i am sweating guys there is like this heat wave this week and it is so hot like even at night i am filming at night because like i cannot bear the heat during the day and let me tell you my house is not that fresh i feel like that is a very common problem with houses in portugal it gets so hot in here but like the buildings are not made to cope with that but like it has always been like this not as aggressive like climate change is real but it has always been pretty hot in the summer and we gotta struggle every single year i know that a lot of people watch me from the united states and stuff and let me tell you in europe it is not as common to have ac or even to turn on the ac if you have it because of how expensive the electricity bill will be so we just we just deal with it we just open the windows and pray for the best do you guys see like even though it sets my makeup it's not as mattifying especially when you compare it with powders like the huda beauty easy bake which are very drying and mattifying now for powder bronzer i have been loving this one from elf this one blends perfectly it is not patchy i love the shade and by the way this is a primer infused bronzer i am taking the japanese powder angled i honestly love their brushes their brushes weaver brushes and also the ones from nure beauty are pretty much like 99 percent of my brushes one of the things that i like the most about the product besides the shade is the fact that it's not like crazy pigmented it's very easy to build but it will never make you look muddy because of how easy it is to work with it i love to work by layers for the longevity of the makeup and even for the finish i just feel like it looks so much better in the end so i honestly don't like any of the products to be like crazy pigmented because the other layer is going to intensify it now for powder blushes this is like the star of the show the milani baked blush in the shade luminoso this one is more like about the glow that it adds so i always like to pair it with another blush and this is my favorite affordable blush that i like to pair it with it is a colorful matte blush from sephora in the shade flirt it up i bought it because it is the one that makeup by ariel uses on kylie jenner or used to use i don't know and obviously i went to check it out in store and i really like the shade it is definitely the type of shade that i like in a blush so i decided to give it a go i'm taking a 127 from zoeva to apply it and these brushes regardless of how much i try to clean them i completely stain them with my blush I really like the shade of this one, but I am not like the biggest fan of matte blushes So I always end up mixing it with a highlighter with the Milani baked blush Sometimes you don't need like a shimmery pink blush and a matte pink blush You just need highlighter pretty much to mix it up or the Milani baked blush because that works so well as a mid-tone blush And like the glow that it gives is so unique. I truly love the product now off to the baked blush from Milani Oh my god, I look like I was slept. I always go overboard with the blush. It is actually incredible Do you guys see the glow and I like to take this to my forehead because of it not being as like crazy pigmented It just connects everything without it making me look crazy and for highlighter this one from catrice it is the more than glow highlighter i will say that this goes insanely applying really quickly so you gotta be careful however in europe it is the best drugstore highlighter that i found so far it is really beautiful don't be fooled i love the finish of it and by the way it is in the shade all 10 but yeah you just gotta be a little bit more careful especially if you are like me and you like more of a subtle glow and by the way this is the 105 from zoeva one more round of setting spray this is really blinding for the inner corner and for the brow bone and i really love to apply this one there it truly brightens up the eyes so much moving on to the eye makeup these two eyeshadow palettes this is the most affordable one it is the weibo nuditude i think that's how it is called eyeshadow palette and this is around like 13 12 euros something like that and this is what the inside looks like i feel like this is one of those eyeshadow palettes that are just perfect for like an everyday makeup even if you want to go a little bit bolder 
you can still do that with these and i love the shimmers they are super reflective they are so beautiful they are very creamy and the matte even though you have a ton of kickback on the palette the formula is great you can build up the pigment and i love the shade next we have the la girl pro artistry palette this is around 26 27 euros it is definitely more pricey than the other one but like for the amount of eyeshadows that you have in here and also for the amount of product in each eyeshadow i think i'm going in with this one today though i have been loving to use this i think that i'm going to play with the browns of the eyeshadow palette so i am first going to blend this one all over my crease i don't remember if this actually shows up on my skin at all and I'm using a new ray brush. This is the 208. I really like these eyeshadows and the shimmers kind of feel weird to the touch. I'm not gonna lie, but once you apply them, they look so beautiful. They definitely don't look that affordable. This barely shows up on my skin tone because once again, I am really thin. I am going to use this one to add a little bit of depth. Yeah, this is more like the shade that I need right now. I really like how easy it is to blend this formula. Like it is very easy to work with. And sometimes with affordable eyeshadow palettes, what I feel like happens is you start blending things and they just end up fading into nothing, regardless of how skilled you are. And with these two eyeshadow palettes, it doesn't happen at all. You can definitely build up the pigment with precision. Now I'm taking a pencil brush from Zoeva. This is a 231. This is usually way too small for what I'm about to do, but this one is so old that it's super fluffy now. And I am using it to take this deeper brown shade to add some depth on the outer corner. I'm just going to top the brush like on this outer V. I want to do something that is very like everyday friendly but you can definitely go bold with this eyeshadow palette like I have done all sorts of makeup looks with this and I'm just going to keep this until like halfway because I really want to keep the depth on the other part to elongate the eyes and stuff. I always do this to lift my eyes a little bit. I feel like it is very flattering. Before I go in with any shimmer I first want to go in with this pencil. This is from Weibo and it is the incredible black matte and lasting eyeliner pencil. I will assume this is very long lasting. It is not waterproof but when I tell you that this doesn't smudge, this is one of the most affordable products. I am not sure about the price, but this is probably less than 5 euros. And it is so black, so pigmented. And once it dries down, it does not smudge anywhere. And trust me, I have tested it under very extreme circumstances. But until it dries, it definitely gives you time to work with, which is something that you guys know that I truly enjoy. Because I love smoky eyeliners and I love a good smoked out lash line and this allows me to do it listen this part is going to look messy regardless but it's fine because we are going to smoke it out i'm going to start smoking it out with this japanese brush this is the smudger brush and guys the reason why i want to do like a quicker type of makeup look is just because this video is not really about the glam it is more about the products and you guys seeing how the formulas work and also because usually drugstore makeup it is what people look for the most when it comes to everyday makeup looks so i wanted to give you some inspo along with product recommendations and as you guys can see it is so easy to smoke this one out like it just blends like a charm i am now going to take the deeper matte eyeshadow of the whole palette and i'm going to start packing it right on top and on the edge this is way lighter because it is not a black eyeshadow but it is fine because the pencil is so pigmented that it's still going to peek through and it is going to build a nice transition and one of the things that i love about this eyeshadow formula that i completely forgot to mention is that even though you have a little bit of kickback on the palette less on this one than on the weibo one you don't have any fallout and sometimes i experience a ton of fallout with super extensive formula so you know make it make sense honestly the kickback doesn't bother me that much especially for the price points of both palettes kickback doesn't really ruin my makeup you know guys fallout though fallout is a whole other discussion i know that this is getting a little bit further away from an everyday glam but i honestly really like to do this type of thing on an everyday glam and then i wonder why the hell i can never be ready under 10 minutes i think i'm going in with this shimmer this one and this one are like my favorite shimmers of the whole palette if there is one thing that i can tell you about these shimmers is that they are sparkly and once again no fallout which is actually insane and by the way this is a 239 from zoeva the sultriness of this makeup look is coming through i'm going back in with this highlighter just to add a little bit on my inner corner and brow bone and i'm really feeling this makeup look i tend to do this type of makeup look a lot with black pencil brown pencil it's going to add a little bit and this is so intense 
a little bit in here and Jesus Christ, ain't that too much. Now off to lips. This one's from NYX and Never Disappointed. And this is definitely my favorite shade. That's why it is so tiny as well. It is the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew. They are so buttery. They are so gentle on the lips and the shades are incredible. And let's not forget to dry my lips. And the lip liner doesn't look as good. That is like the most underrated makeup hack. Like if you want that sharp application, just make sure that you dry your lips with a little bit of setting powder. I just use whatever is left on the product bro. And now for lipstick, I have a ton of lipsticks and lip glosses from the drugstore that I honestly love. So if you guys want me to do a deep dive on those types of products, let me know. But this is my favorite one to pair with this, along with the soft matte lip cream also from NYX in the shade London or Abu Dhabi and a Maybelline Lifter Gloss. But today I'm going in with this one because I haven't used it in a hot minute. It is the butter gloss and I have it in the shade Praline. This is so beautiful, so comfortable. And since my lips are super dry today, very, very nourishing if you will i don't think that this is supposed to nourish the lips but it kind of does it for me and like the way that these shades go together and the fact that you only have like a gloss with a ton of pigment it makes it so easy to reapply during the day whenever you have lipstick and gloss you either remove the whole thing or you simply just apply the gloss but sometimes the gloss doesn't have enough pigment so you just end up with the lip liner bare lips and shine on top you guys know what I mean. Anyways, guys, even though mascaras from the drugstore are bomb and fire, I need something more dramatic for this makeup look. So I am going off camera to take care of my lashes and I will be right back. Hey guys, I am back. Those were all the products that I had to show you. I hope that this video was useful and that I helped you save some coin. I am going to leave everything linked in the description like I always do along with the discount codes that you guys can use so that you can save even more money. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And and if you feel like doing so, if you feel like being a little bit more extra, activate the notification so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to leave another video in here that I'm sure that you guys are going to love just as much. And I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.